Yesterday, I got a direct message on Instagram asking me to critique the grip that Berrettini uses on his serve. And the person was asking if Berrettini had an extreme grip. And I'm going to tell you, no, he does not have an extreme grip when he hits the ball, but he does when he begins the service motion. All right, so let me show you what I mean by this. Now, first, this video is courtesy of Court Level Tennis on YouTube. Make sure you subscribe to their awesome channel. I put their link in the description below. So first, let's have a look at a couple of his serves. Now, at first glance, it's quite obvious why we think he would use an extreme grip, because he begins with an eastern backhand grip. That is 45 degrees different than a continental. So first, let me show you what an eastern backhand grip actually is. Now, I'm going to show you a right-hander, but actually with the eastern backhand, it doesn't matter if you're right or left-handed, it's actually the same place on the racket. So first, there are two spots on the hand you want to know about, the base knuckle of your index finger and your heel pad. Those two spots, whether you're left-handed or right-handed, those two spots go on the very top panel, panel number one, the eastern backhand grip. But he doesn't use that grip when he hits the ball, and I'm going to show you that in a second. He actually uses this grip. It's 45 degrees different. He uses the continental grip for his, for his serve. So when does he go from an eastern backhand to a continental? Let me show you. If you take a close look right here, watch his hand. Watch. I want you to look at his hitting hand and watch his fingers flare. See that right there? See how the fingers flare? When the fingers flare, I want you to notice what happens to the racket face. There is a tremendous change in the racket face. And in fact, if you have a severe grip on your serve, like an eastern backhand grip, you're not going to have your strings facing open like this in the back, like Federer and Sampras and Chapo. Because remember that Severe grip changes the racket face by 45 degrees. The fact that his strings are open like this, it just tells us that he's got a continental grip. So here, he's starting in an eastern backhand. We can see the alignment of his base knuckle with the actual, like, the racket itself and panel number one. And then as he goes into the service motion and he begins serving, all of a sudden right here, sorry, as he's hitting the ball... That's a continental grip. That's no different than any other way. Like right here, that's as obvious as can be that that's a continental. There's no severity in the hand and the, and the racket itself. It's on edge like everyone else's racket. Same old pronation. I mean, it's, it's everything. It's a continental grip. And so he is actually, and I'm going to show you like me doing this in front of the camera in just a second. He is actually changing the grip right there. As the racket falls, he loosens up the hand, changes the grip to a continental. So he does not have an extreme grip when he's hitting the ball, though he does start with an extreme grip. All right, so here's what that looks like. First, he starts with his one-handed backhand grip, an eastern backhand grip. And he lifts the racket up high, and the racket looks like this. You can tell this is just different, right? So if I have a continental, it looks like this. If I have an eastern backhand, it looks like this. What's changing isn't the wrist position, What's changing is the racket position in my hand. So you can see as I'm changing the grip, what's actually changing is the racket face. So when you are looking at someone, you can actually tell what grip they're using, not by looking at their hand, but you simply look at the racket face and that's what actually shows the grip change. So he's got an Eastern backhand grip. I bet he thinks he uses that grip, by the way, and he doesn't. He drops the racket, the wrist goes like this, he tosses, arm goes up, he then elbows someone behind him, and when he's elbowing and then letting the racket drop, watch this, he goes like this, and he drops into a continental and then hits. So to the person who asked <laughs> what grip on Instagram does Berrettini use on his serve, it's not an extreme grip. He starts with that grip, 
and then as the rack is dropping, he changes to a continental. In fact, if you hold with an actual one-handed backhand grip, the, the racket with a one-handed backhand grip, and you drop the racket down, you can see how the racket's on edge. It's so awkward to try to get the racket open the way he had it. But if you drop into a continental, it's, it's so easy to have the racket in that position. And so it's hidden in that drop. And I'm, I'm doing it. I've never practiced this before ever. And it's actually not that hard the way he serves. To, I just dropped it into a continental and now I hit. And now I've got to go back to the Eastern, continental, and then hit. Back to the Eastern, continental, and then hit. So I think that's pretty interesting that he probably doesn't even know he does it. And I actually, if, <laughs> if I were his coach and I discovered that, I wouldn't say a word. There's no need to get that in his mind or have him changing what he does. It's, it's working just fine. He's using the right grip as he hits the ball. Uh, but, you know, sometimes what we see, it's, it's a little deceiving. So he does not have a, an extreme grip at all. Now, if you're looking for people in your local area to play matches against or practice with, or if you want to find a coach who's close to you who can help you with your game, then use my link in the description and pinned in the first comment. Playyourcourt.com slash two minute tennis. When you use my link to sign up, you get 50% off. Now, the reason I make a video like this, <laughs> one, it's, there's very little instruction. I usually don't make videos like this where it's more just entertainment and telling you about the pros. But it is educational from the standpoint that grip changes on the serve occur unbeknownst to us all the time. So there's a really good chance that you are starting with a continental grip, and then when you toss the ball, you change the grip to a forehand grip, like an Eastern forehand. And that's why you're struggling to hit spin. And when you hit flat serves, the ball always goes out. So review video footage of your serve. See if you're doing what Berrettini does. Now he starts so extreme that when he changes his grip, he ends up in a continental. But if you're starting in a continental and then you're changing your grip without you realizing, you're gonna use a forehand grip and that's really gonna hurt your ability to hit great serves. So film yourself, make sure that you are not, unbeknownst to you, changing your grip mid service motion. And if you do, there's no doubt, you're gonna gain confidence, win more matches, and play much better tennis. This is Ryan Reedy from 2MinuteTennis.net. You got this.